years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. This is Alex. This is the Ramble. It's from the most infected city of well, not anymore. Anyway, we're here until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Lady, ladies and gentlemen, that that uh, uh, smiling face you see there with I think I notice Corona hair. Yes, exactly. I was going to tell you I have corona hair today. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. And it's probably going to get worse. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it just, it, I remember when you were bald. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I think, I was thinking maybe I should just go back to that. How long ago was that that you were bald? Oh, a little under a year ago. It, I mean, it lasted for two or three months till it really grew in again. But uh, yeah, but yeah, now, last year, middle of the year last year. Now look at you. You want a haircut, but yeah, you can't get one. It just, it's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> well, luckily, you're one of the states that's not currently facing a, a yard, a huge uptick. Yes, we are. Oh, you are? Because I, uh, they, I mean, they It didn't... was so low that we almost looked like New Zealand for a long time. I mean, not that there weren't people who had died and people... But it was so low, we were like in the bottom 10, if you rank the states. Yeah. But when the... This latest explosion started, so it exploded here too. So our numbers are still low compared to a lot of places, but it's because we started lower. Yeah. Okay. But it's really going up now. Yeah. But but I looked at a at a map. You know, they put these maps up on TV, and I looked at Washington was like bright red or something like that, but Oregon was not really changing well, color. Because the numbers that they yeah. use, they apply the same numbers for their cutoff between red and yellow and orange mm -hmm. and all of that on the maps they use the same numbers for every state so as i said ours are much much lower to begin with but for the number that we were they've gone sky high now and are continuing to so far today so well, here's the thing there's a great way to get your numbers going down well, let me turn on my on the air light here there we go uh, uh, uh to get those numbers down and it's a, it's a significantly. Yes, it's called wearing a mask. No, it, 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 it's called don't test. Oh, well, can we not? <laughs> and this is, I can't think of anything more stupid. I, I just can't even. The can't only reason you it. got it's pan, just... the only reason you got pancreatic cancer was because you went to a doctor and he said you did. If you hadn't gone to that doctor, you wouldn't have had can pancreatic we, cancer. We just, no, no, I, just, I yeah. can't. Even I know, stand. I know. It's so stupid. It's so dumb. It's so uninformed. And he's got you know, these. I read somebody who was used to be in this White House, and I don't remember who, but somebody who isn't there anymore, but who worked with Trump for quite a while. Yeah who said that he believes that that Trump is incapable of understanding the concept of testing and what that means. Because I think, and, and that makes sense to me, because he's stupid about a lot of things. This one is just so incredibly awful. And, and, and you just, there's not, what's to say? I mean, I, I don't know the answer of what you say about that. Well, I'll tell you what. You know what else? It's, <clears throat> yeah. I I am so weary of him. And we've got a pandemic. If you look at Australia, New Zealand, Iceland, a great deal of Western Europe, they've done a wonderful job of controlling something that we don't know enough about to do anything about. Right. We could have had someone like that. You know, we could have if we'd voted differently, but we didn't. And you know, one of my readers said that she was a Canadian. Said it. She said that to Canadians, it feels like they're living over a meth lab. Wow. Wow. You know, it's it's just it's just awful. Yeah. And of course, then I'm sure you heard today that that European Union is considering strongly considering not as they open up their countries 
of not allowing any Amer any Americans in. Well, you know what our governor did today? He's passing an order uh, that anybody coming into the state with a from a from a state with a high infection rate that would be anything why over you, a one. Why would you why would you cherry pick the state? Wait, wait, Any state no no be. no because some of them have a low infection rate. I don't rate. care. Well, they're it, still sick. In any event, uh, what he's going to do is that anybody from those states who comes in is going to have to quarantine themselves for 14 days. You know, I don't understand self quarantine. How do they know people don't cheat? Well, one way they can tell is let's say somebody comes up from Florida, drives up from Florida, okay? And now he's driving around. And the cops check him out, and he just came into the state. But they don't. They've got other things to do. Yeah, I guess. You know what they don't have time to do? In our neighborhood, for some reason, we have had fireworks going off for a solid week. Well, I don't know what I can say about that. It seems the least of our problems. Well, <laughs> it's not. It wouldn't be the least of your problems if you were lying there trying to go to sleep at well, night. Well, I, you know, given the virus, and the president, and the president's minions, mm -hmm. um, who are doing their own terrible things, I. Right. I put fireworks way down the list. I understand the irritation, but we've got such big problems yeah. that unless somebody is being mangled by them, it, it just, can we can we get on with what's really important? Well, just, the, the, yes, but uh, you know all these. There are a lot of problems right now. Just a lot of them, and. Uh, I think, in a way, he counts on these things really acting up a bit. Um, Who's he? Trump. The governor? Yeah, Trump. I think he likes the demonstrations for Black Lives Matter because it takes the emphasis away from the coronavirus. And then he likes the coronavirus because it takes the emphasis away from something else. And he's always been the master of deflection. You know, I, I'm just weary. I, I know you're weary. Phone. We're I all tired. Weary. We're all tired. And let's hope, let's hope that the rest of America feels like we do, that they're tired of this buffoon. I, um, it, it just, I can't stand it that every day, you know, and, and it suddenly struck me how I think he's going to win the election. For months, he's been leading up to talk about defunding the police defunding the post office and if people can't mail in their ballots how are we going to have an election well can i tell you a little story here that gripes me um i applied for a mail-in ballot and then marjorie got her mail-in ballot but i didn't well it doesn't mean anything insidious has gone on. Follow well, no, up and see what I did. I did. I wrote them five times, and I've not received a single reply. How about if you pick up the telephone? How difficult oh, is that? Oh, it, it, getting through to them? Ridiculous. Try. Don't bitch. Try. Well, I'll let, the latest letter I wrote them is, Go there. you have deprived me of my right to vote. Well, now, oh, and I just came to work today, and I'm worried about my kid well, no, catching I mean, the virus, I, I, and look, I'm going to answer you? Look, I guess not. Look, we sent the thing in. We've sent a second one in. You know, I see no recognition of it. Yeah, well, let me tell you. They are living the same life you and I are, scared shitless. Well, yeah, you but know? they're and also... They're working, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And they're trying to do things, and they're probably they're, getting contradictory uh, instructions Follow up. Do your end. You don't have to just sit there and check a box. You could actually do like go down to the place and say, "Hey, here's my." Problem. I have written them three different times, you and I've written the state. Whatever I've written the state. I've written the state twice. Alex, thousands of letters are coming into those places. Thousands. Mm -hmm. You think you're special? Get off your ass and go to the office of that place. Well, I, yeah, I'm going to go downtown in the coronavirus. Well, an awful lot of people do. I'm going to take a subway They're downtown. Masks. I'm going to take a subway downtown. Yeah. Would you? If you think it's that would, important. Would you? Would you? A whole lot of people yesterday stood in line all over the country to vote with a coronavirus floating around. Mm-hmm. 
And, There's nothing you can do right now. They're also not 80 years old. They're or, also not 80 years old and in that, that area that's uh, compromised. You know. Get creative. Do something. I, I, do, I mean, you can complain all you want. That doesn't help the situation. Well, I've got more important things to deal with, like the firecrackers in our neighborhood. The I, fireworks. How do you just zoom <laughs> into the least important stuff? Um, it, it's... There's nothing more important. The only tool we have mm -hmm. to change the government in Washington is to vote. I, I know that. I, I, I signed up it's to vote. The only tool. I signed up to vote. Do something and not uh, and stop. All, all I'm trying to point out here, Ronnie, is not that uh, that uh, that I I didn't get my thing because I didn't. But I'm trying to point well, out. Wait a minute. I'm trying about. to point out that there is a problem. With mail-in ballots, if they don't, no, you're not pointing out that there's a problem. They didn't send me one. That you didn't get yours. Go figure out how to get one, and then you could tell your audience what worked for you. Oh yeah, what probably worked for me is I have to go down on a subway, which is a petri dish, and go downtown all the way to the city hall, which is another petri dish, which then probably isn't even open. So then I have to find okay, out where just, voter I, registration that's fine. is. Just, complete, just keep complaining. I think that's just fine then. No, I think that they should do their job. You don't know the pressures they're under. First of all, local governments are out of money. They're not allowed to go into debt. They can't hire a whole bunch of new people because they don't have the cash. How no difficult fiscal. is it for them to simply write me back and say we're looking into it? Oh, really? And the stack is this high? Well, how about how about just this high of how about just a robo reply? The, did you write a letter or did you email? I emailed. Oh, well, you'll never hear anything. Do you know what their email boxes look like every morning? I should get, there should be some kind of robo uh, response, like we got your we got your letter, blah, 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 we're looking at it. I Can we stop this? I don't I'm know just talking, talk I'm about talking this. about efficiency. I where my, you complain, complain, and you don't do anything to No, fix because it. doing something compromises my health. Well, it just all depends and on isn't, how isn't it is. And isn't one of the main reasons, isn't one of the main reasons for having these, these mail-in ballots for people like you and me who have our immunity compromised and cannot go to a polling place. And so, therefore, it should be made I easier rather than place, rougher. If we had such a thing, I would under all the safety conditions. It's that important. Yeah, and right. all those people all over the country, and I've forgotten how many states yesterday... You saw the photographs. They were there, standing in line for hours. Well, let me tell you this. It doesn't matter if I vote. Now, you're going to go crazy for me saying that. I I'm, I can't discuss it anymore. Well, I don't know how to talk because, to you about it. Because this state's going to vote for Biden anyway. There's, you oh, know. that's okay. So how many people do that all the time, and then well, we get people like be, Trump elected? Because my one vote gets distilled down into, like, 57, 87, whatever the electoral votes are in the Electoral College, it all gets distilled. It doesn't say, well, hey. vote ever. Well, in New York, uh, voting Democratic is rather redundant. Okay, then everybody who's a Democrat shouldn't vote. Why bother? A lot of them are old anyway. And then we'll have Trump for another four years. No, if I don't vote for Biden in this state, in New York, am I going to change the vote at all? Am I going to change the outcome at all? It doesn't matter. Would now, you I understand if I lived if in Wisconsin, you don't do it, it, you'd have you're an, not doing your part as a citizen. But you'd have an argument for me if you, for instance, um, uh, if we were talking about me living in Wisconsin or, or living in uh, um, um, you know, Ohio, the states like that where they're pivotal states and your vote does really matter. I can't. Can we go somewhere else? I can't. You, you, you might as well be a Trumper to talk like that. No, I'm not a Trumper talking like that. I'm talking about a New Yorker living no, in New York. No, you can speak as a citizen of the United States. And the one way you have to participate, to do your part, to uh, try to uphold democracy, is to vote. Yeah, well, you see, I Period. just... Yeah, There's I, no argument. We're talking about me voting in New York State. It doesn't matter what state. It's doing your part as a citizen of this country. At the risk of my life. I don't see why not. There's all kinds of ways to protect yourself. I go out to the pharmacy, to the grocery store, 
out to get my mail every day and my garbage, and I suit up. Yeah. Gloves, and the next thing, I'm going to get one of these things because I have trouble breathing be with a mask because yeah. of the COPD. Yeah. So I'm going to use a mask with the face shield. The mask. Uh, so the ma the mask. I'm not near anybody. I could pull it down a little bit, but um, but but that's you, you know I that's your trade off for being an American. No excuses. No fine tuning what state I live in or who's up for election. You do your part, and I just. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I thought that I knew you. I would be happy to do my part if they did their part. Who's they? The people who are supposed to send me my goddamn mail-in ballot. I said I can't discuss this. <laughs> okay, I don't okay. know how to talk uh, to you. Uh, you sound like Trump. Every excuse is just dumb. That isn't a dumb excuse. Yes, it is. You can get on the phone. You can go down there. You can send a snail mail letter. You can do all kinds of... You know, you're smart. You're a media person. You can figure out who to call that will help out. I used to be a media person. Anyway... Uh, well, what we're doing. It's me. Anyway, you're making me angry, and I don't want to be angry. Okay, don't be angry. Anyway, uh, let's get on to... All of a sudden, you were in perfect sync in the beginning, and now you're out of sync. I don't... Well, I don't you know, I, everything's a problem for you, isn't it? I well, you know, you know what I've been... I don't know what to do. You, you know what I've been using... crazy. You know what I've been doing with most of the people uh, who I interview now? We do Zoom, because Zoom is so much better. I don't have that problem with them. They never go out of sync. But anyway, we're, we're still using Skype, because it's easier for you, because that's the way we've been doing it. Uh, let me ask I you. I do Zoom. What? what? You do Zoom? I can do Zoom. Why well, can't I? Well, maybe next time I'll send you my link and we'll do Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you do Zoom. Jeez. Everything we've been through today, you find something wrong with. This time it was me. No, 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 no. I'm not finding anything wrong with you at all. I'm just saying that I was doing Skype because we're used to doing Skype. But if you want to do Zoom, I'll send you the Zoom I, you link. You know, I just time. have a. I'll do Zoom. I have to. It's the way I see my doctors now. Yeah. And um, uh, and you know, and it works fine. I mean, I don't see. I know you keep having difficulties with Skype. So if there's one that works better, we should do it. Okay, we'll do Zoom next time. I'll send you the link, and then you'll call me at uh, the uh, the uh, uh, time, and we'll we'll do it that way because it's. I just find it so much better than Skype now, you know. I'm doing all the uh, panels and everything on my show at night using Zoom, just simply because Zoom is so much better. Anyway, uh, uh, let me ask you this. Coronavirus, you deal with an older audience because it's called timegoesby.net, uh, and you talk about what it's like to get older and to go through the things you've gone through. How is your audience, re because they're an older audience, I know that as an older person, I've been especially careful about the virus. I don't think, you know, part of my problem is I haven't left the house in four months, basically. I've gone out a couple of times. How's your, how's your audience reacting to this? About going out? I mean, are they, are they fearful of it? Are they, do they feel that they are, they have to really watch out for it? Or are they just, well, what happens, happens? Oh no, that's only young people that yeah, say that. Yeah. Or, or, or Trump people that are never going to change. Yeah. Um, but they're they're really smart about it. I mean, first of all, you have to understand about old people. Mm -hmm. Is or no, that's not the right word. The retired people have already had a lot of practice of not being in and out of the house all day every day. Mm -hmm. you, we, we've learned how to live in a different way. Um, and mo and as you get older, you can't do as many. Right. If, even if, if there's no big deal restriction on you, mm -hmm. you get tired or, you know. <laughs> so you don't go out to do as much. You don't go club hopping all night, every night, and out drinking every night. And not much of that anymore. And so that's already built into your life when you're old. Yeah, and so you have le you have less reason or need or even desire sometimes to go out. So it's easier, I think, for us than very young people who, you know, when you're in your twenties, it's your job to go out and see people every night. You it's, know, it, to, be so, it, to be so to be so to be to be social. But, yeah. Um, but from when we've discussed it, 
on the blog, everybody's quite accepting of it, really accepting um, of, you know, they've read all the contradictory instructions because nobody has given any direct instructions of exactly the right stuff to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. And all are smart enough to figure out it's really important and what's important to do. And, um, and yeah, I think that, you know, I think everybody is aware that if an old person gets the virus, and, and some of them even state it this way, you know, the, you're pro I, I know for me that I believe it's true that if I get the virus, just let me go. It's not that you're not going to be able to save me long term anyway. So let me go. Mm -hmm. And um, and so we're careful. But I think we're careful in an intelligent way in that we've all got gloves to wear. Uh, that we, some of us, I'm one of them, have elaborate ways of handling the mail. That yeah. we never well, open mail uh, on the day we how get long it. Do you, how long do you wait to open it after you spray it? Um, three, days. <laughs> three days. I don't spray it. I put it, I have a box out on my patio that's well covered. It rain yeah. can't get to it. And I leave it out there. I don't bring it into the box. And I bring stuff in from the box about twice a week. Yeah. So if somebody sends me a snail mail note, a card or a letter or something, doesn't happen very often, they might expect a response <laughs> sooner, but that's, they're not getting it because I don't even know I have the note for half a week. Well, we have a disinfectant. I think it's Mr. Clean with the biological yeah. disinfectant in it. And when stuff comes in, a box comes in, we spray it from a distance. Oh, you're talking boxes. I'm talking letters. Yeah, but I'm talking boxes and also letters, too. I mean, we're, we're, we, we actually leave the letters sitting on the table in the foyer for uh, about two days, three days, you know, before we open them up. Yeah. But and that's, I mean, the only reason to do that is that when they were sorting mail at all the steps along the way, you know, mm -hmm. somebody may have sneezed on it or mm -hmm. touched it when they and they have the virus and don't know it. Mm -hmm. They're still working, um, and so, and it doesn't. I think on surfaces at last they keep, you know, it's a different answer every day. But I think the most recent one is um, that it lasts a day or two. Well, the World Health Organization said they're beginning to believe it does not adhere to surfaces very well. It doesn't adhere to packages, for instance. Uh, uh, countertops Don't that are... Don't go there. Can we, can we skip that part? Well, they say countertops is just, porous. It, all, there's so many different answers, there's no definitive answer. Well, I, the fact is that every week we come up with new information. That's what I'm saying, yeah. so there's no point in discussing it. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. You're absolutely right. So, so basically, I mean, like, I agree with you that as you get older, you're not as sociable, and you're, you don't feel you're capable of doing the same things you used to be able to do. I know there were people going on marches, you know, for the Black Lives Matter thing. Some of them went through Harlem. I wanted to join them, but I said, you know something? And I said this when I was younger. I said, protesting is a young person's occupation, you know? And, I, I did, and so I feel I did my job. You know I did. Uh, hell, you had to you had to pull me out of New York to go to London when uh, Kent State happened and said we're going on a vacation no matter what. And then we wound up at the American Embassy outside the American Embassy at our hotel, and there was everybody protesting. So I went out and protested. Uh, when you're young, you can protest. You've got the energy, you've got the stamina, and you've got the social ethic. Uh, I just didn't feel I could join them. I didn't feel that I could safely join them to begin with and that uh, there was no social distancing going on. Uh, and most of them were wearing face masks to their, to their uh, uh, credit. Uh, but uh, I, you know, I, I wish I had gone, been able to go out there, but I just didn't feel I could, you know? And that made me feel kind of bad because I was mad. Well, you do what you can do. I mean, I can't because I can't even get from here to the bath to the bedroom without breathing hard, so, yeah. you know, how am I going to march? But, um, you know, the other thing about my readers is some of them mention you know, they miss, well, as, as I do, I miss having, I, you know, I got too old to go out to dinner with friends because I get sleepy early. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> but I did lunches, and I mm. miss the lunches. Uh, they miss, they have reading groups and other kind of groups they used to go to, and they miss those. Some are, if it, a lot of them, people uh, were making masks. Well, before making, you know, things for 
mm -hmm. children's hospitals and stuff like that that they did as a group. Um, the people that I know here done a lot of that. So now they're doing it at home and they're using Zoom uh, to meet and talk with each other. Although now apparently the latest big thing is Zoom fatigue, which I could have told you the first time. <laughs> I tried. It, was, it was just, it wears me out, you wow. know. I and mean, it's yeah. different here with you. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's one on one. There's mm -hmm. not a whole bunch of people on the screen. There's just you and me, and um, and you're, you're you know. Do you know that I've known you longer than any other person alive? Really? Yes. Son of a bitch. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> so who the other person might be? I know. Son of um, a yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I was 17 when we met. Oh boy! Well, and, hey, listen. And, you know that's yeah. sixty years ago. We've just run, um, we just run out of time. Oh, okay, I'll shut up. Oh, we talked about this last time, oddly enough. We, you mentioned I it once to me. I don't remember. Yeah, I, we, we. I know you longer than I've known anybody. That, I'm trying to think. Anybody? No, my friend Roy Trumbull died. Oh, we've already talked. You're right yeah. about this. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. So uh, you're you're it too. That's so, the other thing about being old. So you you better you be, said be, last week. <laughs> you better not go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Ronnie Bennett can be found at timegoesby.net. Goodbye, Ronnie. Goodbye. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ah, yeah. Nothing like talking to old wives, right? It's an old wives' tale. <laughs> anyway, hey, listen, uh, what do we got here? Oh, listen, I want to tell you something. Before we go to our, uh, our uh, panel, uh, to our, you know, checking out the panel panel, the, which you can do through Zoom, uh, you'll get the address on our gabnet.net page, and you can get the address on my Facebook page uh, at uh, facebook.com forward slash a Bennett. And you can also get it if you're watching it on YouTube. You can get it right here on the uh, on the uh, on the on the video, right 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 down there, right below me. See, I'm, I'm, I think that works. Anyway, listen, um, I just got to play something. It's quick. It's only going to take about 45 seconds. In our neighborhood, I've been complaining about the fact that every night, people for some reason found it a great idea to blow off fireworks. Don't ask me why. And like last week, I, okay, Juneteenth, I understand that. It's, the, it's their Independence Day, and they deserve to be there, okay, and blow off the fireworks and so on. But that was over on Saturday. They still are blowing them off. And I wanted to play you this. This is just really quick, okay? But I want to play you this. This is what went on. Are you ready for this, okay? This was at a quarter of four. A quarter of four in the morning. Look at this. Now watch this. Now, admittedly, they're really nice fireworks, but listen to that sound. Okay? Yeah. That was going on at almost four o'clock in the morning. Now, am I acting like an old man, or is that vexing? There they go, more of them. You know, and it just went on and on and on and on. And I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. And this was on Sunday, I think it was. Maybe I've recorded this, yeah, or Monday. No, it was Sunday. Here we go, more of them. I mean, admittedly, they're spectacular for neighborhood fireworks, but geez almighty. Okay, I think that's about it. Maybe there's one more. No, that was it. Okay, so that's what goes on in my neighborhood. Welcome to the neighborhood. Anyway, let's uh, let's go to our um, uh, let's go. Let, first of all, I want to see who. Well, we know who this is, so we'll have uh, have. Uh, I just push this, and there comes Phil Meyer, because I've got somebody else in the waiting room, Phil, and yeah. and I want to check. Oh, there's Howard. Oh, okay. Uh, are you Mary Howard? Howard, I can't hear you, Howard. Your mic is uh, is turned off. Oh yeah, it says Mary. Yeah, it says yeah. Mary. I fixed it. Huh? That's my wife. Oh, okay. Oh, so when I see that, it's okay for me to let you in. Okay, let me let me. I'm sorry, it, it won't happen again. Let me open up the uh, enable uh, unenable the waiting room. I was Maria. 
Maria Gonzalez or something. Oh, really? Oh. No, I'm making it up. Oh, okay. You don't have a Remember green. The other day. You, you don't have a green screen tonight. No, because um, you guys didn't like it. Oh, okay. No, it didn't. I, I, I thought it was fine. I just didn't know what you were going to do with it if you were going to do I, anything. He I was just hiding crap, so you know, I relocated to a different spot. I could Howard, go beach, you know. Huh? Howard, he just doesn't like my green screen. Yours is fine. Okay. Oh, by the way, I've got I've got to go over to your the, over to the panel so people can actually see them. There they go. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> oh man, having a little cough tonight. Yeah, me, hey Alex, they do have green screens on Amazon. What? Not the you one here. Get them on Amazon. Yeah, but they're, they're not. Stock now. But they're not. No, oh, they're back, they're in, back stock. in stock. The Elgato. The Elgato. Yeah. yeah. Really? Wait a minute. Let me look. I don't believe you. Let's see here. Green you're calling your, your callers liars? No, I guess yeah, so. I, I, I went and looked, and I saw them in stock on Amazon today. The backdrop was stand. Okay, here we go. What do you know? Oh, E-Mart. The E-Mart, uh, let's see here, but it's not the one. It's not that uh, collapsible one. No, I don't see them. I, oh, here we go. The E-Mart green screen collapsible chroma key panel. That's kind of close to what I was trying to get, okay? But anyway, in case people right. want to see what I'm, uh, what I'm looking at, uh, I can uh, just uh, uh, go over here like this, and you can see, you see, these are all the green screens that they have for sale on, on Amazon, and that's what makes you be able to put a background on yourself, okay? All righty, okay, all right. Anyway, back to the... <coughs> Back to the panel. Hello, Charlie. Hi. Hi. So uh, anyway, um, the um, it uh, um, it's been a it's pretty pretty a pretty good day today. You know, I'm, I'm still feeling. I don't know what it is. I went out for a walk, and I didn't have the same symptoms I have inside the house. So I'm beginning to think there's something wrong with this apartment. There's, you need a heap of filter. Oh, a HEPA filter? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe I need to buy one of those things. Uh, here's what I did, though. This, this really annoys me. So they had a thing on the Internet, uh, uh, some ad or something, about this, this thing that the filters and it does everything. And I'm thinking, eh, maybe it might not be a bad idea to get for the apartment because maybe that will clear it all out. And I want to see how much it costs. And it costs them like four or 500 bucks. And I'm going... I can wheeze my way through life. Um, but ever since I watched that ad and then I went online and kind of looked it up, mm. every time I go to, uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, um, oh, God. You know, the thing that we're using to put this show out. Uh, uh, YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> every time I go to YouTube, they run an ad beforehand, and it's an ad for that. They like they like are watching me, you know. You can say things uh, in the room, and it picks up uh, what you, you know what you were looking at. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I you know, hello, Charlie. Hello, uh, 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 Brian. Uh, 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 what's his name? Tony. Hi. Tony. And I don't have a picture. Doesn't and it says Brian's phone. Who's uh, hello, Brian? You there? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to get my phone going. Okay. I'm in a chamber at work. Oh, really? Yeah, we're over, we're over in another building. Oh, man. I'm trying to get my camera to go. Preston, um, uh, there's a camera button. Yeah, I know. And this is our video, and it's uh, enabled to use. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll have to call back when I get home if I'm making time. Uh, but we're over in our big building in Building 8, and they have these pods. Mm -hmm. They're like, uh, it's like a chamber. It's like uh, there's two benches, mm -hmm. just, and it's like probably like six feet by four, by five feet. And you close the door, and there are windows on one side, and they have plug-ins for you and everything. But it's to hold meetings, so we don't have meeting rooms. It's pretty, okay. pretty bizarre. Brian, sounds like a cell at San Quentin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll try to get my phone going. If not, then I'll I'll call back later. Yeah, you should be able to get on here. It says your camera is showing, 
And of course, your audio, you've got your audio. So I don't, I don't know what, yeah. the, what the problem is. Okay. okay. All right. We'll, we'll see. Uh, uh, Brian's iPhone. Uh, anyway, hello, Tony. How's it going? Yeah, how you doing? Uh, I mean, she was a little moody tonight, but... Who, who, oh, you mean your employer? Right, yeah, exactly. She gets, she gets bored sometimes, but what do you think? It was too hot to take her in the yard today. I didn't want to chance it. This is like you talking about your dog. It was too hot to take her in the yard today, so I let her poop in the house. It was hot, though. I was afraid. I remember, it's just like, I, I thought it was just too muggy. Yeah, it was. It was it. kind of. It was kind of toasty today. But oh, here, do you hear the fireworks? They're going again. Oh, you see, the Blasio's got a some kind of task force for the fireworks. I oh, guess. really? What are they going to do? He's going to find. Wait, what, what, what do you say? I want to know if he's doing something about it. Well, they actually. My brother told me that he's put a task force together. that's going to try to apprehend the people who are shooting illegal fireworks. Try to get them off the street. Oh, please. You know, I, listen, I'm all for fun. I'm all for fun. But this has gone on since la the middle of last week, and it hasn't stopped. You would have thought it would have stopped after Upteenth or whatever the name of that thing is. Brian. Oh, there's Brian. But your Brian. other your iPhone is still on, Brian. Yeah, no, it's on my iPhone. I'm on my iPhone because I have Zoom no. on my phone. So no, I can be in, but so. no, but there's, there's, there's a Brian's iPhone that isn't. Yes. Yeah, because that's on my phone. So this is the little chamber. So no, we're, we're what, doing a big event over here. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I have two pictures. You, which I got the picture, and another one that says Brian's iPhone. Oh, really? Oh, it just disappeared. Okay. Oh, okay. It, it just yeah. disappeared. Uh, okay. I'll show you this. <laughs> anyway, show us the pot. Uh, could you do something? Let's see if you can turn sideways. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, now we get to get. Oh, look at that. Is that is yeah. that's a pod? And you work in there? You can, yeah. So people break off and they go into these <laughs> meetings in here, and then you close it. So we're down there. There's mm -hmm. we've been here like twelve hours working on the next building. Yeah, and then you just sit in here and you got your stuff and. Just talk to somebody and... God, it's like being in a prison cell. Yeah, I wonder if anybody's fucked in here. I'm sure they have. Not... Well, can, you, can you smell <laughs> anything? That's going on Nothing sticky on the floor. <laughs> Did the windows black out? No, but there's nobody up here except for us. Yeah. So this is, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, how many square feet is that? Uh, is you have the yeah, whole building like, or do you have the... This is five by six, this little room. And they have like seven or eight of these around here mm -hmm. uh, because they try to save space on conference rooms. So, and, and they densified these areas. Mm -hmm. So over in the cubicle area, people are right next to each other. We densified just before CODIV. So we saved a lot of space and had these and that CODIV came and we have to de de uh, densify everybody again. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh boy. That's, it's nice. You know. Yeah, sunsets uh, over there. So yeah, we we have a couple more hours. We're just trying to deal with some arguments. So. Wow. Okay. Let me uh, switch back to me. It's switch back to you. There he yes. is. There he is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that's uh, it's very nice, and and you look, but you look like you're in a cell, a fancy <laughs> cell, but you look like you're in a cell. Yeah, I just keep checking to make sure they haven't all left me because I want to go home. <laughs> yeah. Well, is that the modern day version of a cubicle? Yeah, this is the modern day version of a meeting or being private. Because you can't be private. These other these other densified areas is like they have mm -hmm. like a, a chair and then right next to you is like a file, the little mm -hmm. file, mini file cabinet, and then another chair for the next person. Yeah. So, yeah, just yes. we, we have no space here, so... Yeah. Oh, there's there's Jeff Stein just joined us, and you know this is so easy for him. He never has trouble with his sound anymore. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, it does work better. Yeah. Yeah, it does work good. Anyway, so how are we all doing tonight? How, good to see you again for the second night, Howard. Mm. You know, Excellent. you know, it's nice to see a different face beside the the one that's over on the other side here, over here, folks. Mm -hmm. You know it's what I? You know where I'm pointing, don't you, Phil? Huh? What? It's only five o'clock here. Yeah. Yeah. Really? 
Oh, yeah. Yeah? Hawaii, yeah. Yeah, it's early. Hawaii? It's 5 o'clock in where? Oh, in Hawaii, of course. In Maui. Maui. You're right, yeah. at Maui. Yeah. How long ago did you move there? I moved to Hawaii in 2002. Oh, really? So you've been there quite a while. You were really a Kamaaina, huh? Yeah, I yeah. got a bunch of these shirts. It, Every time I come on, I'll have a different shirt on. As opposed to <laughs> Phil, who is, we all know is a Howley. Yeah. Does, uh, does Renee live in uh, No, she lives Hawaii? in Hawaii. We don't know where she lives Different anymore. Island. She just disappeared. I wonder if she's still alive. Well, that's what we always wonder when we don't hear from people for a while. <laughs> you know? That's why I go on the air every night, because if I miss a night, you'll think I'm dead. That's right. You get to check yourself. Yeah, yeah. I was really lightheaded last night during the show, and it's happening again tonight. But I don't know. It says something in the air. Something going on. But, I, I, I got something new today that I haven't seen what? in four months or what? five months. My son. Oh, really? Oh, because... Andrew. Yeah, you know him. You, you finally decided you could see each other. Uh, yeah, we, we decided we we're going to do it. And yeah. we both got tested. Yeah. And uh, so we're going ahead. And Good. Little family deal. It's something that we had planned at probably six months ago. And, yeah. And after a while, a lot of discussions. We said, oh, so the family, that test, the family that tests together gets together. <laughs> That's it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but anyway, so I can't figure out what's, what, what I've got. It's, it's, it's some kind of, I think it's some kind of allergy from this apartment because I went out today. And I, and I, for a short time, felt better. But you know what I saw in the world outside that I haven't seen? We have one of these things that go around the apartment because they're planning on doing some pointing in the building. So it's like, you know, scaffolding that surrounds the building so that if they if something falls from up above, it doesn't hit people. Well, uh, also across the street, they have a park. But in that park, a lot of uh, people... Um, derelict, should we say, used to congregate every day and exchange drugs, okay? And so the cops came along and they pulled out all the benches so they have nowhere to sit. So where have they moved now under our covering on the other side of the building here? And they're all there sitting there camped out in chairs and everything else. And the cops do nothing about it. You know, hey, now uh, I, I feel sorry for these people because they don't have a place to stay, but I feel like Cuomo said when he, he threw them out of the subway cars. I think that's what we're getting there, oh, okay. right? Yeah. Threw them out of the subway cars, but he said he really wanted to find them places for them to stay. They shouldn't have to sleep in a subway car. Yeah. You know, and uh, he tried doing his job, and... Uh, his, isn't working. As he well. found a place, 116th and 7th Avenue. 116th and 7th <laughs> Avenue. Okay. Anyway, I notice I'm a little, uh, I'm a, a little out of sync here. Yeah. I just figured I could fart really loud and nobody can hear me. Oh boy. <laughs> Until don't, somebody else comes in here. <laughs> don't trust the fart. <laughs> Okay, I think we're finally finishing up. So, okay, I'll, I'll see you guys later. Oh, well, I want to ask you one question, Brian, before you go. No, you don't have COVID. No, no, I know I probably, I'm sure I don't have COVID. I got something else, but I don't have COVID. You know, I have not had a temperature, not even close. In fact, my temperature is so low, I think I'm dying the other way. But anyway, <laughs> no, I wanted to ask you this quickly before you go, in case we don't have time to talk to you about it later. Today, Trump took the action to stop funding the states for COVID testing. Mm -hmm. Good idea, bad idea. Bad idea, but we are, our stuff goes through the medical facilities. So they're paying, but they must get some funding from you, from the government also to be yeah. paying for some stuff. Oh yeah. And the states so I don't also. Think it's not going to stop us for sure, but you know, it's a lot easier tests for everybody if it's being funded, right? 
Well, of course. And yeah. I mean, it means more tests. And the more testing we do, the more we get yeah. a picture of where the outbreaks are. And I mean, the notion that you do more testing and you find more people that are, uh, you know, that are, are sick or whatever, of course you do. Right. But you get an accurate picture. Here in New York, we do more testing than anybody, and our numbers have gone down. So that the theory that the only reason they go up is because we're testing is absolutely wrong. Yeah, we have. So we just reported we have like 4,000 customers we've been supplying, and yeah. a lot of it is coming out of the U.S. now. Well, you know, it's like saying, uh, well, the only reason I have cancer is because yeah. they tested the malignancy. You know, I mean, come on. <laughs> You know, the reason you have cancer is because you found out you had cancer, and you should find out how many people are being infected. What your rate of infection is is what's really important. And, yeah, and so it, it definitely won't change us, but I think other companies that are depending on some funding, you mm -hmm. know, to have that out, yeah, for us, all our but instruments in, are done with in private the, medical facilities. But in the so. middle of an epidemic to do that? I mean, he is just not wise about the science of all of this. Yeah, and, and you know, I posted on Facebook. I can't believe he doesn't say anything about that. You know, there's a lot of stuff he didn't talk about, and he ran it for ten minutes about his stupid walk off the, off the, sh the after the graduation. It's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, we'll go okay, home. Right, go home, and we'll see you there. Go. Okay, he's on his okay. way home, where he can. Yeah. Okay, bye -bye. Yeah. Yes. Uh, um, your building is over a hundred years old, and there uh, is it painted on the outside. And is that what they're stripping? No, they're not stripping anything. As a matter of fact, they haven't done any of the work that they paid to have this, you know, this, this, what do we call it? It's, it's like a covering that goes around the bottom of the, of the yeah. building to protect things from falling on people. Okay. And I they think, also, that, I think they're paying something. I think they're paying something like $65,000 a month for that. And they haven't done any of the work yet. Is there a covering on the sides too? Uh, so it's not just underneath, but uh, also uh, the face of it. No, uh, no. You know, when, no. They remove, when they remove paint, like lead paint. No, there's, and they're not, they weren't going to do removing paint. They no. were going to be doing pointing, which is to what? find insecurities in the building and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, which you have to do, I think, every 10 years or 15 years by law in New York. But they, they put that thing up and they haven't done any of the work. Yeah, you know. my concern was that you were getting some some amount of lead in your uh, in your blood. Oh no, I'm not. That's not it. No, no. Uh, so. You know, no. We we have we know what the paint is in here. It's oh. not lead paint. So well, a hundred year old building. There's lead underneath. Oh, I'm sure there's lead in the building, but yeah. you know, we'll get the lead out. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I you know, I mean, uh, uh, there's uh, this could be a, a sick apartment. I mean, we could have contaminants in here that are causing me to feel this way um, and that I might be allergic to. So, you know, um, it, it, today I'm a little better than I was yesterday. I'm not sitting here getting groggy and saying, I don't know if I can get to the end of the show, you know, so I'm feeling better. <clears throat> he said coughing. Um, anyway, so um, we're... Um, so what do you think, Phil, about can you find any rationale for stopping funding to the states for know, testing? Didn't know that he had stopped the funding. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, I it was my birthday today. So I oh, uh, have, I've been getting uh, a ton. And thank you, Charlie. <laughs> uh, yeah. I've been getting a ton of, uh, you know, happy birthdays. And uh, well, you know, may I I, oh, I only have I only have a short time. I'd be the last one to wish you a happy birthday. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, I think what I'm going to do is pull that thing. I thought I pulled it off of uh, Facebook so that it didn't have my birthday listed because on the day of my birthday, I don't have time to do anything else except the answer. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Charlie, did you hear about this today, about him doing the defunding of the. Uh, of, I saw uh, a headline. Yeah. Of the virus testing. I mean, yeah, it's probably some stupid rationale behind it. I have no idea what the rationale is. It doesn't uh, make no sense. What was uh, I heard? What was the deal that went on today uh, about the police um, uh, bill 
that was introduced by Scott in the uh, Senate. Uh, I guess Pelosi doesn't uh, want to. They're fighting over a police bill, and you knew that was going to happen. You know, yeah. there's nothing anymore that doesn't fall along political lines. It's like everybody who's a Republican in the Senate feels they have to be in lockstep. They can't like be independent thinkers and say and vote on everything based on what you think the merits are of that. Instead, they go, well, what will my other Republican think of me if I don't well, vote this way? But it was a Republican bill. It was the one that was written by Tim Scott yeah. of South Carolina and the Democrats don't want to. Well, well I'm saying I'm not, I'm not just blaming the Republicans. Down. I'm bl uh, I'm blaming down. I'm blaming everybody because there are certain things, you know, the, OK, let's let's get let's get let's get to the coronavirus a second. Just one right. second. Is that a political issue? It's become one. But why? It makes know. no sense at all. I mean, uh, I'm not wearing a mask because I'm a Republican. What? Yeah, no, know, it, it's it's become it's become a political issue, and uh, and it shouldn't. It you know, of course it should. Yeah. Uh, the, I, the only uh, oh, you don't want to talk about the bill? No, I want to talk about the bill. Sure. Oh well, you see, the Democrats could uh, put amendments to the bill. They could vote amendments in on the floor, but mm -hmm. they haven't even tried that. They just said the bill is dead. You know. Well, you know, I mean, I I just would like to, for, you know, please, Senate, Congress, you know, we're dying out here. Quit making things political. Isn't it time that, you know, hey, yeah, maybe we do need to have, uh, I really think we do need to have a revamping of police departments. And I don't think Phil would do disagree with that assumption, would you? I, I'm all for more training and uh, uh, better training to help de-escalate. Okay. Uh, yeah. You real? You admit there's a problem with the police departments in America? Not no, not no, not in particular, I don't, but I don't oh. think it's an endemic problem. I I, I think it's uh, there are problems, and and you'll have problems no matter what agency uh, you uh, deal with. Mm -hmm. Whenever whenever somebody says do this, there's always going to be somebody that says I don't want to. And so, you know, how do you how do you work with it? You know, and yeah, well, well I, all I'm saying is, is that, you know, there, there's obviously something wrong with the police departments in this country uh, because we haven't policed the police departments enough. Oh, okay. there's plenty of policing of the police departments. There's all sorts of citizen review. Yeah, but you're talking about you're talking about in your area. No, okay. No, no, in any area. Hey, in go point. into the deep south and take a look at some of those uh, town clowns. I had a friend know? that was the chief of police of, of, of Valley, Alabama, and uh, uh, they 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 were no different than they were in Richmond or uh, or other cities, uh, because he was a cop in Richmond with me, and then he became the chief of Heron, California, and then he became the chief of Valley, Alabama. Uh -huh. and, uh, you know, so the, it it really doesn't matter where it is. Goodness, he said to you, "We love our negras down here." <laughs> I never got that, uh, Charlie. Do you ever get that uh, nigra? You remember that? Oh, that's what the, John Thurman always used to say. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was a cross between Negro and the N word. Yeah. And I never could figure out where that one came into play. You know. Uh, I think it, uh, that's a disparaging way of addressing someone, and it's, uh, I, I don't call it racist. I, it's just stupid, you know? Yeah, it's, well, stupidity reigns supreme these days, you know? Well, here's uh, a question I asked. Yes, yes, uh, yes, uh, here is, here's Tony. Ask a question, here's Tony. Police reform, maybe like you're saying, they need a little more training. You know, Alex, maybe what? they should give them the gun right away. Maybe they should work up to it. Maybe six months. How long is the academy? Six months? Uh, it's, I, I don't remember, but uh, the uh, I, I think it's three months. Well, it depends on if well, you go. I on. have a, I have a great suggestion I made a few years ago, and I know Phil isn't going to like this. Going to drive him crazy, but that's what I. It's my job. That's what I like to do, Phil. I don't want uh, to. Uh, it's uh, how much free time do the police have when they're on duty? Depends on the department. We used to go from report to report to report. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you couldn't take a break. Uh, 
you know, you had to eat on the run. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, okay, but how about how about other times? Uh, it, it's rare. Uh, you didn't you didn't have a lot of time because radio was always dispatching you uh, to calls. And uh, th this is when you're on patrol. Did you find uh, that any of those calls were unnecessary for the police to handle, but it could be handled by some other agency? Uh, the people that call... Like domestic disputes is an example. Don't really need to be handled by police. They could be handled by social service people. Well, a lot of times we found in a domestic dispute there was violence going on. Someone was injured and uh, we had to uh, separate and so how many times how many times was it people just uh, arguing with each other and it just got very yeah, loud and the neighbors complained uh, it's not the it's not necessarily the neighbors uh, you know we we handled some pretty nasty domestic dis disputes and and uh, also uh, child abuse yeah. cases like the Bermuda's case where the guy the uncle beat the crap out of a three-year-old and uh, you know, left them brain dead. Yeah. Uh, I was oh, on that. Okay, one. well, that's happy, happy talk. By the way, I just noticed something, Howard. Yeah. I suddenly noticed something, ladies and gentlemen. Our guest on the program, Woody Allen. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been told that before? No. 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 <laughs> Somehow here you look like Woody. Am I wrong, guys? I agree. He has a. He has the look. Yeah. yeah. Hair. It's the hair. Well, Woody has little, very little hair left. You know. Oh, he has more than Woody. Yeah. But um, um, by the way, your boy in I think where was it? Wisconsin is eighteen points behind Biden. Yeah, I, I don't go for those polls, especially this early yeah, on. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes let me put it this way: if it's like three points ahead. You can go, ah, I can go either way. Five points ahead, you can go, well, I can maybe go either way. When you get to 18 points, it's not a question of if there's a fluctuation in the polling. They had Hillary uh, 12 points ahead at, at various uh, times. And you see how it worked out for her. Well, um, you know, they have this guy, Steve Kornacki. Anybody watch MSNBC? Nah. This guy, Steve Kornacki, with his polling and his poll numbers and things like that. I would like to go back, if he was still working there, when the last election was going on, and see what his predictions were. Because I think they were probably... For huh? Pro probably, pro for for, probably for Hillary. Well, I mean, let's face it. The disparity was in that election that, that Hillary did win by the popular vote. And what they were checking out was the popular vote. They weren't checking yeah. out the electoral vote. So that really they were, they were right. Hey, look who's coming here. I wondered where he was because we, I, I said to myself, he hasn't called in a couple of days. It's Todd Moore. Hello, Todd. You there, Todd? He may not have a really good connection. He's, uh, he told me he was at a truck stop hmm. and uh, that uh, they do things to interfere with your connection. Really? Yeah. Why yeah. the trucks up? Why they want you to hang out with the hookers more? Oh, what? Want you to buy their internet connection? Oh, is that it? The economy. <laughs> well, that sucks. You know. Anyway, um, so uh, well, we'll just see if Todd if Todd comes on here. He's still his camera's off, but he's obviously coming through. It's just his camera's not turned on and his audio's yeah. not. Turned uh, on. This is also he doesn't use Zoom that often. I he. Talked to me tonight, and I told him to go on the thing and click through. So he he may be dealing with Zoom issues. Yeah, Zoom's pretty simple to use, though. Yeah, it, well, let's he, face it. Look, Jeff uses stuff. it every night, and it works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Well, that's because his wife sets it up before he sits down. <laughs> no, he probably does it all right. himself now. Yeah. Zoom is somewhat idiot-proof. Once somebody does it once, much sooner. Yeah. Yeah. I, I finally copied the uh, the code and I saved it yeah. uh, to a contact and now it's e it's even easier. Yeah, I would suggest that that's what everybody should do is take that thing, just cut and paste it on either either onto some notepad you have or uh, or or just yeah you know, because that 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 holds no matter what. If you were if you had like I have Notepad in uh, in a Mac 
And if I put it on a page and it's got that link, all I have to do is click on that link on the notepad and it'll it'll call. So uh, yeah. it's pretty convenient. It's pretty pretty idiot proof, folks. And look at the idiots we got here. Uh, yeah, yeah, Howard, how do you how is is um, is Hawaii uh, somewhat conservative or Republican or wh which way do they fall? No, you can fit all the Republicans in like one bar. Oh, really? Son of yeah. a bitch. Phil wants to move. That's here. why Phil won't move here. Uh, no, I, I still like it. I'm a scuba diver and uh, it's just so conducive to diving. Yeah. But he won't live here that way because there's no Republicans here. Eh, there's no Republicans here either. So, you know, By the I'm way, they, speaking of water, they have a movie on uh, Netflix called Magnetic. And it's about all these places in the world that are magnets for thrill seekers. And the first one is just about uh, surfing mm. and the biggest waves on the planet. Where do you think they are? Uh, North Shore, Hawaii. Nope. Mavericks in nope. uh, 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 San, yeah, not Santa Cruz, but up. Nope. Yeah, Half Moon Bay. Nope. Uh, then, then they're like, uh, could they be in Indonesia or no. one of those? Portugal. Really? really? Portugal. Uh, and, I was thinking Spain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Portugal. It, it, these waves are so gigantic, and then there's this little guy like inching his way along this giant wave and I'm going, you're out of your fucking yeah. mind. That's, you yeah. know, I wouldn't do that. You gotta be a good swimmer too to surf. I know a guy that photographs surfers inside the wave, you know, when he, yeah. he gets up in the crest. Yeah. Uh, I don't know exactly how they do it, but uh, it, it's beautiful well, stuff. Well, you could do that with a good telephoto lens and not have to be near it. <laughs> Oh, I'm serious. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he uses an underwater enclosure, and I think wide angle. Well, I would certainly have an enclosure for your camera if yeah. you were doing something in the middle of one of those big waves, yes. But he maybe avoids the wave by shooting outside the curl and then through into the curl. I'm not sure. I never. I didn't ask him how he does it. It's just he probably it. does it from uh, San Diego. Yeah, really. Because <laughs> you're not getting me near that wave. <laughs> but anyway, no, I, it, 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 they say that this one in New Zealand is the magnet for surfers. They actually will go there and live for six months at a time waiting for the good wave to start coming in. Is Portugal or New Zealand? You say? Portugal. Portugal. And it's this, uh, they say there's some kind of like uh, depression in the, in the shoreline or something that causes this thing to just swell up huge. And they, 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 have, they get carried out there by guys, uh, their surfboards get carried out there by guys on jet skis. And Has these, anyone and these guys' ever, lives are in a great deal of danger. Was Has it, anyone here ever surfed? I got up on a board once, and it was a very small wave, maybe two, three feet. Yeah. And I was only up for a few seconds, but the, but the, the energy that uh, I felt in the board and just being on the wave was was an unbelievable energy. I, I have no desire to, well, to do it. But that's probably why these guys do it. Yeah. There's probably, I mean, you know, if you're doing it for the endorphins, that's got to be an, an endorphin the energy, rush. The wave actually transfers to your your body. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I only stayed up for a few seconds, but, you know, it, well, it's kind of like sex, but, uh, you know, but the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, it was uh, it, it was exhilarating. Todd, can you hear us? I don't think he's there. No, yeah, he's there. Yeah. He's there. I, uh, let me see. Well, he's got, yeah, he's there. His camera is on supposedly, and his um, microphone. Are you there, Todd? Hmm. It's too bad. Probably still having some issues. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. But uh, anyway, so, I mean, uh, I, if you get to see that show, Magnet, I'm going to watch the rest of it because they also do mountain climbing and they do a whole bunch of other things that people do that, you know, quite frankly, I would never do because I would shit my pants, you know. And, and not that I don't already have that problem, but, you know. Uh, well, you know, what I did last year, diving with tiger sharks, uh, you know, uh, and, you know, just having somebody feed them and then 
they just swim right around. They come right up to you. 15 foot tigers. Really? Okay. Hey, I'm, I'm a little out of sync here. I don't know why. Everybody else is in sync, but I'm not in sync. Isn't that weird? For the Backstreet Boys. Huh? Yeah. Back, Backstreet Boys or something? A- yeah. Anyway, I, um, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just, um, yeah, I've run out of stuff to talk about. Well, we, I mean, we could, let's see here. Was it more Trump stuff today? Nah. It was, it was pretty much a quiet day for Trump, right, Charlie? I don't know. I don't usually follow the news during the day. Well, except for the fact that this whole Roger Stone thing that they've uncovered about the Justice Department playing loose with his his conviction or his was he convicted I finally? Yeah, huh? I thought it was Flynn that. Uh, they, well, Flynn they... got got out completely, and yeah. now but now they're testifying before congressional committees, members of the DOJ, that they were pressured into these things. Wow. by the Trump administration to get these guys off the hook. Stone and Kelly. Yeah, that's because uh, the DOJ found that the investigation that was done by the FBI uh, was uh, unwarranted. And uh, Yeah, look who's DOJ. And look, look who's the DOJ. Bar. Yeah, but that was uh, Trump. I, I swear, when this, is all, when this is all over, and it will be, I don't think, I don't think, and I'll go on record as saying this, that Trump's going to win this one. And he's not going after a tough guy to beat, but he's not going to win this one because, A, he has not administered the coronavirus situation well. He, in fact, he hasn't done it at all, basically. And, uh, and the economy is in shambles. The stock market is, you know, he says, we've had the best stock market in 200 years or something like that. Well, yeah, if you don't count the drop that took place first, yeah, the comeback has been rather large, but not large enough to get us back to where we were. And people are feeling that. People are feeling that in their pockets. And, you know, it's all about the money, pal. It's not bad for an economy that's been shut down for three months. What do you mean? It's terrible. No, you it's, know, a, it's, you know, it's an economy um, like an economy that's been shut down for three months. I don't remember months. how many points it went down today. I, I lost uh, $13, but... Uh, Phil, you've <laughs> got $26 invested in the goddamn stock market. Quit acting like you're suddenly Mr. Monopoly. <laughs> yeah, well, it went down $13. I haven't yeah. put anything We'll, we'll get it. you a monocle, you know, and yeah. then you can talk about your stock investments. But... Uh, it's it's I I put the thousand bucks in right after the first downturn, and I think it was about a seven percent correction, mm-hmm. and 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 now I'm pretty close to even, so you know it tells me and and what I bought was the Dow Industrial Spider, so this is you know this is where the market was. I you know it went down today because of their talking about some spikes. Fauci in his testimony talked about some spikes and you know so well they, they also react- they also you know I got to tell you that um the the president has done nothing to make these people feel secure where this plague is concerned. Uh, they don't, you know, he thinks that all you've got to do is just say wonderful things and the stock market will go up, but the coronavirus uh, won't make it go down. Well, of course it will. It, it has affected the stock market incredibly because look at where we were and look at where we are now and look at where we could go if things got worse. And they are now predicting that maybe by October we're going to have 150,000 deaths. Okay. Any additional deaths? Huh? Additional deaths? Because we already have 123,000. Yeah, well, they say by October we'll be up to 150,000. No, by the end of July we'll be over 150,000. They're that... talking about 200,000 by the end of August. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> you know what's and Phil, when you hear those kind of numbers, what is that going to do to the stock market? The, the stock market is like a frightened <laughs> no, little th- child, you know. Who... These are predictions based on... Uh, Phil, uh, it doesn't. It doesn't matter whether they're predictions or not. They're affecting the stock market. Well, we'll see. I'm. I'm having a great month. My June is almost as good as my, my February was, which was unbelievable. 
Now, you know. Uh, and the reason I'm, is because I'm, people have to put in new carpets for because for the last three months I've been pacing back and forth, back and forth, back no, and I'm, forth. I know. I'm 11 percent ahead for the year. It's that's not. It's, I don't well, think it has that. nothing to do with Trump. Of course it does. He bought well, all the carpets. Uh, yeah. Okay. But you know what scares me though? That, that, that and that really was just for his head. Yeah. <laughs> like with those spikes in all those other states. You know, unless we get a vaccine, I think they're going to have to shut these states down. Or it, it's it, you're going to have a lot more. About, what about the people who Texas have, has had more cases that will put their tests off? Today, Cuomo, today, Cuomo, along with the other two surrounding governors <clears throat> of uh, Connecticut and New Jersey, announced that they. Hold on a second. <coughs> mm. Over. Got a little phlegm in there. Um, announced uh, that they uh, are going to not, if people come in from certain states, there's a, there's a list of them, uh, they have to quarantine themselves for 14 days before getting out into our communities. Because he said that the one thing that could spoil all the good work that we've done is these people coming from other states and infecting us. Uh, and we've got to do something to prevent that. So it's like Florida and it's Texas. Like Texas, just finally your governor has changed his tune, hasn't he, today? Uh, well, he said we should stay home, but he hadn't made it mandatory. Uh, you know, in Howard State, they have a 14-day uh, quarantine if you want to go there. And uh, I think that Europe said that they don't want us going to Europe. There's a well, ban now there, no, no, there is a proposed ban on us going being able to go into the European Union. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is really how bad it is in Texas. We've had more cases in the last three weeks than we had in the three months before that. Wow. Your hospital's not hey, you, you, you guys are in trouble. Yeah. yeah. I bet you're not going out. I haven't mm -hmm. been out in 10 days. I'm not going out. Really? I, well, I, 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 you know, I don't go out that often. Uh, you know, you don't have to shave as much when you wear a mask. You, know? <laughs> you actually, yeah, I would no, shave. You actually, you have to because the problem is, if I had this, like, I I don't know how do you wear a mask, uh, Jeff? Because you got to get it over the over over the beard, right? Uh, your audio's off. Yeah. Uh, your audio's off, uh, Jeff. Yeah. How about yeah. now? Yeah, it's good. Uh, Perfect. I usually get my thing right below there and mm -hmm. i'm okay oh you mean you can actually get it to go under right, right. Wait a minute. Right. i have one yeah, here long one hold on a second right. no yeah, but i trim it yeah it's just like one of those there we go I found that okay. those are more comfortable if they're actually metal. I find if i wear this in the house my start my breathing gets better this is what trump gave us yeah, yeah. there's something in your air yeah. Who would have thought we'd be walking around like this, like the Walking Dead? Yeah, you yeah. probably need uh, an air filter. Well, I'll tell you, though, you look at a picture of uh, during the last pandemic, the, the flu, Spanish flu, and people are at ball games all wearing masks. Yeah. The, this is nothing new. These are the same masks they were wearing 100 it's years ago. we are. You know, 100 years ago, they were wearing the same masks. And they knew they had to because they knew they were they were dying like crazy. Do I have this on right? Yeah. The, they didn't yeah. have any antibiotics or anything to help out back then. Yeah. Now here's the thing, though. Uh, what when, what happens when I go out to dinner? Oh, you're right. You got to have a flap. And I'm glad I'm not a smoker anymore. You know. <laughs> uh, is is the restaurants yeah. opening up in New York? Yeah, well, we have restaurants open with street service. In other words, they have ta tables and chairs on the sidewalks. A friend of mine uh, just uh, wrote me today, and she said, well, we should go to Sam's and Tiburon because they're serving on the deck. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, that's a really good idea. Uh, Sam's has that beautiful deck. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, I really want to sit down at a restaurant, order, and get something to eat. That's yeah. what I where I used to go. I used to go two places after my shows in San Francisco and take people out to lunch. Mm -hmm. One of them was Sam's in Tiburon, out on yeah. the deck. And the other one was the Altamira Hotel in Sausalito. Oh, yeah. Sausalito. Where, by I the way, they... Oh, hey, there he is. 
Hey, Todd. There's Todd. Hi, Todd. I, I used to look up at the Altamira from my uh, place in Sausalito. Yeah, but do you know what movie was filmed there? No, I forget. I don't know. Behind the Green Door. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, favorite movie. Porno movie? Huh? A porno movie? Yeah. 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 It was, it was filmed there. It, I mean, it wasn't. The whole film wasn't filmed there, but the exteriors were filmed there. Yeah. You know, your friend Joe Rigelski used to be a fixture at Sam's. At Sam's. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But, but uh, I always loved to, uh, I could always get laid if I took a woman to lunch at the Altamira Hotel because it's oh, yeah. Sausalito. It's up on the hill. It looks out over the water. And on a beautiful They're day, rain- oh, fit. man, there ain't nothing like it. Did they invent the Ramus Fizz there? No, I don't think so. I thought that's what they said in mm-hmm. their menu, but they're gone. They're, they're closed. They're, Are they they're, closed? Oh, yeah. Boy. Well, I mean, not because of the coronavirus. They're just oh, no. closed. It's been gone for a while. Yeah, all these places go eventually. I, I think Todd, Todd, can you hear us? Yes, I can. You can. Can you guys hear me? Hey, Todd. Yeah. Good. To, glad you could hey, join us. Hey, how you guys doing? Sorry I've been gone for a while. Well, now that you've learned how to do Zoom... Yeah. Forever. Well, yeah. it, it'll be simple the next time you do it, Todd. Yeah. You're in your truck. Where are you exactly? I'm in North Carolina right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I lost my old truck. Um, I was about to pay it off on um, uh, October. Yeah. I was about to get my house, and um, my truck died on me. So now I'm in a different truck. As you can see by the lights and stuff like that in this one. Mm-hmm. And um, I have to do five more years before I get my house. Oh, so God. That's why you guys haven't heard from me for a while because you better- I was in the shop. I was in the hotel. Um, you know, it happens. And uh, you know what's really crazy? Me and Phil got a birthday today. That's right. It's Todd's birthday. Happy birthday, Todd. Yeah. How old are you? Happy birthday, my man, Phil. Hey. Yeah. So, how old are you, Todd? I don't even know. I was born in 72, but I lie on my age so much, I, I kind of forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I think my dad well, said how old would that make 40. him? Maybe 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 72, so 72 to 102, uh, 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 you know, yeah, help me out. Is, 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 is 30 years, then 40 years, almost 50 years old. Probably 49, right? Yeah. Holy shit, really? Almost, mm-hmm. yeah, I think like two, three years. 50 years. Hey, today I qualify, I qualify for full Social Security. And uh, what happened is the Social I didn't want to take Social Security early. So I, they, since my birthday was in June, uh, I said, well, I'll take the first check in, in uh, July. And, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. uh, so somebody from Social what? Security actually called me and said, you know, you can get a check in June. Why did you ask for July? I said, well, I didn't Gee, want Phil, to Phil, 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 you're a conservative, you're a Republican, you love Trump. Do, do not take that money. We're simply trying to buy you 15% off. 15% of everything I made up to a uh, hundred and something thousand dollars at the, at the end of this thing. Uh, Every is, year it was 10, it was about $9,999. Oh, for the employee, but if you're self-employed, or the employer, you pay seven and a half percent for the employee, seven and a half percent from yeah. the employer. I'm the employer. I'm paying the fifteen percent. You know, I'm mm-hmm. paying the fifteen percent of my umpire. Yeah, yeah. So fifteen percent of everything. You know, you know years ago it was yeah. seventy thousand. Yeah, but let, let's get back to Todd. Yeah. Todd's Correct. been been having rough times now in already what is a rough economy. So are you seeing your way out of it, Todd? No, not really, but, you know, I, I've been dealing with it my whole entire life, and the Lord, you know, he keeps um, playing with me, so I never get mad about it. Uh, it happens. Yeah. Uh, I'm in a different truck, as you can probably tell, because you don't see my lamp sitting in front of me. Right. So I do got some new lights here. Yeah. But I'm not mad about it. Um, You know. Better uh, truck, I really, Say Is what? It- is this a better truck uh, setup for sleeping and? and well, I left the I left the Freightliner and now I'm in a um, a um, uh, uh, um, the hell is the truck I'm in? 
<laughs> I'm in a um, a, uh, a Kenworth. Oh, okay. Well, those those are. It's good. a lot smaller than I was in, but it's it's nice. It's, it's got nice stuff in it, but they want a lot of money for it. So I think probably what's going to happen is I'm going to um, get out of driving trucks and go back to being a chef or a mechanic. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure yet. Um, I like going around the United States. I miss, I will miss that. I will miss that a lot. There are people, I, you know, I, I, you think of trucking as a pretty rough life, but there are a lot of people I talk to have been truckers and just love it. Just love it. I, yeah. I have the answer for Todd. Get a food truck. And I got to tell you something. Just, I got to tell, 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 tell you a quick story while I got time here. Yeah. Uh, when I was working at Sirius XM, when I first went there, all of a sudden, I get all these calls, and the calls were from truckers. Because I was one of them. Yeah, because you were the first adopters of satellite radio, because it made sense for you, you know. Uh, well, that's how I met you, Alex. Uh, yeah. You were first with um, uh, the XM radio, and I listened to you forever. Yeah. And, um, you know, you, was, you, you helped us out a lot, so... Well, That's the reason why I'm still here. What I was saying is, is that I uh, I really found the truckers. I like the truckers. I really like them. You know, every misconception I had about truckers completely went out the window. You know, uh, and then uh, we had this trucking channel, and I got to know people over there, and I really became very fond of my uh, my trucker audience. And uh, then as it grew, uh, we, they, they were disproportionate to everybody else, but they were the original adopters, you know. But, uh, uh, you know, I, uh, I, I hope everything works out okay for you. I, I'd like I you to become I, a chef so I can go to a restaurant where you cook. I didn't know if Todd... Oh, yeah, I was good at that. Thank you. Todd, you, you can combine your love of trucking with your love, love of uh, being a chef by getting a food truck and then you could go around uh, any uh, all over the country cooking and selling your your food. I uh, appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. But I probably wouldn't be able to go as far as I go uh, driving an eighteen wheeler. It's a little. It's a, it's a lot different. Um, well, I know. That was one of my uh, passions of being a chef because I still I am a chef. I have all my cooking supplies inside my truck, yeah. and it took forever to get all the stuff out of the one truck to this truck it took three days to remove all my stuff mm. and now i have um a bunch of uh um flat screen tvs and everything in here it's really nice but it's a little bit smaller than my other truck and yeah. um you know I, i'm gonna work for a little bit but you know me and my dad because he's the retired you know police officer from new york mm -hmm. but also that uh he does a lot of real estate appraising and stuff so yeah. he he really wants he been wanting me out of a truck. I've been in a truck for seventeen years now, and um, <laughs> he don't want me in this. He, he and I, I, I feel it now because you know I'm trying to hold uh, the pain together from losing the truck that you know I was about to pay it off, and then all of a sudden my house you know was right there and it's like gone. And now I got to do another five years with this company. I really, I'm trying to hold back tears now, but um, I don't really think I'm gonna be doing this uh, too much longer. I love it, but it's just, it's, it's hard. Yeah. Wow. See, folks, it ain't easy being a trucker, but it's a life that some of the it, like uh, he, your team seem to love it, though, Todd. Seem to love it. Say hey, what? You seem to love it. You know. Yeah. Well, I love it, but. The but money is shit. It, I can work more it, money at McDonald's. Yeah, and it breaks your heart. Well, yeah. anyway, hey, listen. They, by the way, they closed the McDonald's on, on 42nd Street, which I'm very happy about, to tell you the truth. They closed that Wendy's in Atlanta, too. Really? Yeah, the one burned down. Yeah. Anyway, hey, listen, uh, all you guys, uh, Phil Meyer, um, uh, uh, Howard, thank you. Uh, Howard uh, Dinitz. Uh, Charlie Wallace, Tony Magno, the wonderful Jeff Stein, and Todd, always good. Call us more, will you? We, now that you know how to do this, it really works okay. I'll try my best. Easier to do than Skype. Anyway, 
Everybody, have a happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday happy to you birthday. too, Phil. Thanks. And all of happy you, birthday, give Phil. a big wave goodbye. You know, also, Mark uh, from Florida's birthday. Oh, Mark for, uh, Mark, Mark Thorner, Thorner, yeah. Thorner's Thorner. birthday. Yeah. His birthday today. Okay, today. happy birthday, Mark. And just wave goodbye, happy birthday, everybody. Mark. There we go. There yeah. they go. There's, they're out of here, birthday ladies day. and gentlemen. Yep, yep. Uh, they're here. They're out of here, rather. And so are we. Uh, that's it for tonight. I'm Alex Bennett. Stay tuned next for uh, the Jack Bishop intersection. And uh, he'll be taking your calls just like we do for the citizen panel. He's going to form one right now. So go over there and give him a call. He's on Skype, okay, and you Skype him at GabNet Live. I'm Alex Bennett. We'll see you again tomorrow night, 1030, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, tell her I love her. And by the way, stay safe and wear a damn mask, you idiots. <laughs>